Hello guys and welcome back to HVAC Shop Talk. I have the P51-870 Titans from Yellow Jacket back here on the table. We're going to do a little bit more exploring and check these gauges out a little bit more. As you can see, the screen is just timed out. I have the two clamps hooked up. You can see, let's test the sensitivity here. You can see the temperature jumping up right here. 80 degrees, 82 degrees. So pretty responsive. Don't want to leave it on there too long. It hurts basically. So we have the app open and running right now on the table. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna show these side by side so you can see them in real time. I'm going to interface from the app to the gauges. We'll get a quick walk across the house and also explore the app as it is relative to the actual gauges themselves. So let's take a closer look. So we're gonna start a pressure temperature session. I used a GPS to determine that I'm 32.9 feet above sea level, which is not too far and not too far above the river's level, that's for sure, because part of this neighborhood just flooded from the storm. We're going to continue. Going to pick the manifold I have right here on the table. So we're good there. And we're gonna continue. And we have all of our numbers popping up on the screen here. I'll show you some of the sensitivity. I'll get one of the clamps out and we'll clamp it to my finger. And you can see how high it increases pretty rapidly right there. So pretty responsive. We won't do both clamps because frankly my finger is starting to hurt. All right, so let's explore the app a little bit. I had to assign each probe to the locations under low pressure. You can see right there, high and low. We'll go back. We have temperatures, high temperatures, and low temperatures. And at the bottom of the screen, you can see that there's a log that's counting that we can save that data log or we can discard it. So once we're done with each session, we can save that and export that to our computer through the USB port on the back of the gauges. So that's pretty cool. I'll also note that these gauges started on 70% when I got them and I've done a little bit of testing and now they're on 60%. I thought the battery life on the gauges seemed pretty decent when I was using them. Now, you guys can confirm the guys who have these out in the field. Also, you can lower the brightness level and I'm sure that will extend the battery life as well if you're having any issues keeping the battery life long enough. So let's go to settings here and device settings. And I have it actually on 95%. We can lower it down, but I'm just gonna leave it there so it's easier to see. We have it on R114 and I'm gonna change it to R22. R22, I mean, I keep hitting the wrong side for some reason. And there we go. So we're back on home sweet home R22. So what I'm gonna do now is hit the camera icon. As you can see, we can save the actual picture of the screen and send it as an email. So that's pretty cool as well. Or you can just save it to your screenshots. So here's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna rearrange the camera so I can walk away and we're gonna see how far I get. All right guys, I have my phone here. I have the stuff on the table down there and the camera and everything. So I'm gonna take a little walk. We'll see how far we can go before we get disconnected. Walk off into the darkness. Let's see here. I'm gonna walk around and you see that we're in the other room. I'm gonna go around to the garage and we'll open it up there. Mm-hmm out there in the garage oh my gosh here we are still connected now this isn't a long-range Bluetooth device so I'm just doing this out of curiosity I'm at the edge of the garage and we're still connected and we've probably gone around 20 or 25 foot through two walls so decent I just don't have far enough to walk So it was actually really easy to connect up the device to the actual app. All I had to do was click on device and it was sitting right there already. I didn't have to do anything. Now I don't know if that's universal, if it's always been that way or if it'll always be that way, but it was really easy to connect everything. We can do a different distance test in the future. I don't think distance is as important with this because it's a manifold. It wouldn't be as important to me as if it would be if it was smart probes. But I did walk all the way from here in the dining room around two different walls 
outside through an exterior door into the garage and all the way across the garage, which I would say is 20 or 25 foot with a couple of obstructions and it stayed connected the whole time for better or for worse. So there's a little bit about the data logging capabilities. Give me a little bit of feedback in the comments. What do you think? I know we had a lively discussion on these gauges the other day. Here's another feature of what they do. Let me know what you think about that. Would you use these features? Would you use the data logging? I don't know. I don't know if I would or not, but it is an extra feature for guys who need that. So let me know what you think and I'll see you on the next video.